Hey guys, welcome back to A-Level Lessons. Right, in this video, we're going to be looking at the our next part of physical geography, covering erosion by wind. Right, so we're going to be looking very specifically at two erosion processes that basically occur when wind is present. All right, so this will be highly applicable to your areas such as aeolian processes, your aeolian environment, aeolian landforms, anything that's got to do with wind, these erosion processes would tend to play a role. Alright, there are two main types of erosion processes by wind. So firstly, you have deflation, and the next one will be abrasion. Alright, so as you can see from this diagram, we can actually see that there is abrasion happening over here, and we'll discuss more about what exactly this process is, right? If you look at this diagram, it is basically wind transportation processes that are basically happening over here, right? Saltation, creep, attrition, and suspension. So there's another video that I did on everything about aeolian processes. You can go and check it out. I'll leave a link in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Go check out that one if you want to know more about aeolian deposition, aeolian transportation as well. So firstly, we have deflation. So deflation refers to the picking up of dust or sand and loose rock fragments. So it is very simply the picking up. So think of it as though you're using your hand, you're just picking up a piece of sediment. That is basically what deflation is. So it is also the entrainment of loosened materials by wind over time, which causes the ground to be lowered. All right, so what this actually means is that the wind basically lifts these particles up and removes these particles from the surface. So think of it as though it is filtering out these particles. Right, it operates on a localized scale as it takes a very long time for all of these small sediments to actually travel a long distance. So deflation can literally be just the picking up of dust in a localized area. And then maybe it travels via trans wind transportation a few centimeters, a few meters, and then it is basically dropped out again, right? It's deposited. So deflation itself is an erosion process as it essentially erodes the ground by picking up these sediments. So think of the ground as originally being filled with a lot of tiny, tiny sediments. But one of them, let me use the blue pen, okay, one of them has been taken out. So as a result of it being taken out, erosion has taken place, right? Erosion is essentially anything that Think of it as any sediments or any part of a ground that is being chipped off. Alright, so finer materials such as clay, silt, will basically um, be the ones that have to go through weathering first. Right, so they are often pre-weathered by salt weathering. My apologies. Uh, so they are often pre-weathered by salt weathering, which is a physical weathering process. I've covered that before as well. Go and check out that video before going through deflation, all right? So essentially, these materials, they have to be broken down a bit more first before they can be entrained and picked up by the wind. So erosion is shown as particles are eroded, like I've mentioned just now, as well as when the ground is lowered. So in certain cases, like we just discussed, when you have a lot of particles that are basically made up on the ground, right? If the whole of this top layer has been deflated, right? They've been picked up and brought over somewhere else. You notice now the ground surface will become lower. Originally, it was up here. It is now at number two. It has actually been lowered, right? So that is when you can see that erosion has taken place, right? So until the water table is reached, it's a bit more of a exaggeration, right? It's usually going to happen rather slowly, this process of deflation. Moving on, we have abrasion. So abrasion, similar to that which you have learned in your rivers, right? the abrasion that occurs in rivers, is essentially the mechanical wear of rock or sediments by the impact of particles in saltation. So saltation is a process whereby essentially your sediments, think of them as skipping, right? They are skipping on the ground, right? So you have to ground, your sediments are skipping. So when your, your sediments actually skip, they will hit the surface and that causes abrasion to occur, right? It causes wearing of sediments or rock that is on the ground, 
right? So the bouncing particles would constantly or commonly dislodge other grains when they strike the surface. And so the number of particles would diminish with height, right? Naturally, as the particles skip and they dislodge more and more sediments. So the repeated collision of sediments would cause abrasive friction to take place, hence resulting in deformed sediments and rocks. All right, so as your sediments continue to collide and collide with one another, it will basically cause friction and a lot of um, dislodging of sediments, which causes your rocks to become very, very odd in shape, right? They become a bit, a bit deformed, right? As sediments are being chipped out of it through abrasion. So your exam requirements for this topic is very simple, right? That is just deflation and abrasion done. It is all that you re are required for your current syllabus. So you just need to be able to explain these erosional processes by wind in the case of deflation and abrasion and be able to apply them to the various landscapes if required or if applicable. So usually they will be applied more to your alien landscape whereby you will be looking at how, for example, abrasion helps in the formation of a yadang, right? How does uh, deflation actually lead to the formation of, let's say, maybe a vent effect? So these are areas that you can look at and apply erosion processes to and also link them to your transportation, right? Your sortation, creep, attrition, as well as deposition processes along the way as well. Right, so if you did find this video helpful, do be sure to give it a like as well as to subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. And if you have any questions, likewise, you can leave it in the comment section below. And do be sure to check out my Patreon as well as YouTube memberships that I have just launched. I will leave the link in the description below. By joining the channel or hitting uh, or joining our Patreon, you basically gain access to even more bonus content. And we'll look at specific examples, for example, on deflation and abrasion as well in the formation processes. So do be sure to check those out if you are interested. And if not, that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.